This tutorial will show you how to add conditions and branching logic to a conversation. We'll write a conversation in which an NPC, the detective, interrogates the player about a murder. The player can reply that he was at home or at work. The detective will follow up based on the player's answer. First, create a new scene. Then drag the prefab Assets, Plugins, Pixel Crushers, Dialog System, Prefabs, Dialog Manager into the scene. Add an Event System game object so that we can interact with the UI. Inspect the Dialog Manager game object. Next to the Initial Database field, click Create to create a new database. After specifying a name for your database, the Dialog Editor window should automatically open. If you want to open it manually, inspect the Dialog Manager and click the Edit button or the Dialog System logo. You can also double-click the Dialog Database asset in the Project view. On the Actors tab, click Plus to add an actor. Set its name to Detective. Select the Player Actor, and in the Inspector, tick Use Display Name, and set Display Name to Mr. Smith. Setting the Display Name is an optional step that we'll take in this tutorial just to demonstrate its use. In your own project, you could allow the player to set their character's name by setting the Display Name field at runtime. On the Variables tab, click Plus and select Boolean to add a Boolean or true-false variable. Name it at work. This variable will remember whether the player said he was at work or at home. On the Conversations tab, click plus to add a new conversation. Click on Blank Canvas Space or Menu Conversation Properties to inspect the conversation's properties. Set the conversation's title to Questioning. You can also see that the primary actor is our player and the primary conversant is the detective. Right-click on the Start node and select Create Child node. Set the dialog text to Got a minute, comma, and then we're going to put a markup tag here, var equals actor. This will show the conversation actor's display name. Let's continue adding nodes to the conversation. We'll create a new node, make sure it's assigned to the detective, and set the text to where were you at 9 p.m. Then we'll create two player responses, at home or at work. Both of these will lead to a detective line that will set to Lacey Devine was found dead in your shop. Time of death was 9 p.m. From here, the player can choose to say, whether it's true or a lie, I was at home asleep. The detective might reply, checks out, you're free to go. Or the detective could say, didn't you say you were at work? You're under arrest. And from that node, we'll create two player nodes. One will be, I want a lawyer. And the second will be run. We'll put this in square brackets, which is a common convention for dialogue to indicate that it's an action rather than something that's spoken. We'll also wrap this in another markup tag called an emphasis tag. You can have any number of emphasis tags that affect the appearance of the text. On the database section, under emphasis settings, you can set the appearance of EM1.
Alternatively, for this case, you could use the square bracket A action markup tag just to show the text in italics. All available markup tags are documented in the online manual. And now we need to add the conditional logic. Inspect the at home node. Next to script, click the dot 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 button. Then click plus. From the drop downs, select variable, at work, false, and click apply. You can also manually type Lua code into this field, but it's much more convenient to use the dot 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 drop down menu. Repeat for the at work node, but set the variable true. These script fields will set the at work variable based on the player's response. Next, inspect the checks out you're free to go node. Next to conditions, click the dot 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 button. Then click plus. From the drop downs, select variable, at work, is false, and click apply. Inspect the didn't you say you were at work node, and set conditions to variable, at work, is true. These conditions check the value of the variable at work that we set previously in the conversation. Now add a dialog system trigger to the scene. We'll put it on an empty game object. Set the trigger to on start. Click the add action button and select start conversation. Set the conversation drop down to questioning. And finally, play the scene. We'll test one path here. And then the other path. By the way, at runtime, the dialogue editor window will show you the current state of the active conversation, including which links are currently valid to follow and which are blocked by conditions that are currently false. Your dialogue entry script and conditions fields can not only work with variables, but also with quest states, actor fields, and in fact, any C-sharp method that you've registered with the dialogue system. And that's it for the conversation conditions tutorial. Thanks for watching.